Hmm, little Ifain. He is just a baby. He is just a baby who doesn't know his left, right, and center. And because of these people negligence, this boy is gone just like that. Chai, I pity Chioma. I really, really pity Chioma. Everyone who is involved in what happened to little Ifain, our own Ifi baby, we never go unpunished. Autopsy confirmed David son Ifain was drawn. The Lagos State Police Command said the autopsy conducted on the remains of Ifai Adeleke, the son of Davido and Chioma Roland, revealed that he died as a result of drooling. State Police Public Relations Officer Benjamin confirmed the development in a chat with Punch correspondents. The autopsy has been conducted, as he said, it confirmed the boy Ifai drowned. The Punch had reported there were indications that the police might conduct an autopsy to determine whether Ifain died as a result of drooling in a swimming pool at his father's residence in the Banana Island area of Lagos State. The source who confirmed the development said it was standard practice for the police to conduct an autopsy in such a case, hardened, however, that the police would desist from the move if the deceased family members were against it. Like we all know that family of this little boy, Chioma and Davido, has not said anything up until now. And they said it is true that the boy was drawn. But the question is, who led the boy to the swimming pool? Because this little boy cannot possibly go to the swimming pool all by himself at that night. In that time of the night, like they said, it is during bedtime. And the nanny, according to her, said she has already made bed for the little boy to go and sleep before she got a call, which made her to step out. And they said the big gate of where the swimming pool was situated is locked. So how come this little boy pulled the big gate and went straight to the pool? only for him to get drawn. And what kind of call is the nanny making that took so long for her to realize that the little toddler they gave her to take care of is nowhere to be found? Hmm. There is a lot of questions which needs to be answered in this case. Though the family member are not saying anything, like I said, yet because they are still in shock, but until anybody says stop, the standard procedure is to conduct an autopsy and we are going to follow that procedure just like in any case of death the source said which they have done and they said it is true if i was drawn explaining further the source said out of eight domestic workers interrogated by the police in connection with the little boy's death the cook and nanny whose job was to cater for the well-being of the three-year-old boy had been detained for reasons including the failure to uphold the duty of care of the minor at the time of filling this report the nanny and the cook were said to still be in detention but guys eh, hmm, this is just negligence and this nanny need to be tortured so well to call those who are involved in this thing because if i cannot possibly walk down the pool and get drawn what kind of manner of call is she receiving at that time that made her to forget that she has a toddler she is taking care of? She will have possibly been on that call for a very long time. I keep on saying this. For her not to realize that this boy is nowhere to be found. Could it be that they led this boy to the pool and threw him inside the pool? There is a lot of questions going on. There is a lot of questions that these people need to answer. Hmm. In all this, the only person I pity the most is Chioma. She is the only person I pity the most. The only thing that gives her joy, it is taken. The only jewel of her heart, the only love of her heart, 
The only thing that makes her to remember that she still have a lot to do in this life just to take care of that little boy is gone. Even when they throw and blast her, even when they blast her that she accepted David back, if she look at that little boy, she'll be happy. She'll say, at least I'm doing this for my son. But look at it. It is taken away from her, God. I am so much in pain for Choma. I feel for her. We know, say, even these people confess, then send them, they no send them. It won't bring this little boy back. It will not. But they really need to be tortured to say what really happened. You can't tell me that this little boy of three years, he just completed three years. On October 20th, that's when he completed his three years, that he barely done his birthday, not even if he's up to week now. We go and open the main gates, the big gates, just to go and get drawn inside that swimming pool. It is either they distracted the nanny with call so that the person that is involved will do the work. Because as it is now, a lot of things going through people's mind. What could have possibly happened to this little boy that made him get into that pool to get drawn? You can't tell me that this little boy opened that gate all by himself to that pool. And why will he be thinking of going to that pool in that time of the night instead of sleeping? That is why I said maybe the call that Nani received was to distract her. May God keep Chioma strong. That is all I can say. Because hmm, not only she had a pity, not only she had a pity. I can't even imagine what she is going through right now. And everyone who is involved in what happened to little Ifai will never go unpunished. We never go unpunished. Karma will locate them. Even if Davido decide to release them, they will never go unpunished. They will never. So you guys, this is how the netism reacted on top say, hmm, it is truly that Ifai was drawn. And everybody keep wondering what is happening. How come if I get to that back where the pool was situated and couple the facts that they said there is a big gate. So how did the little boy open the gates and went straight to the pool? That is the question that has been going through everyone's mind. This one said it is possible he was led to that pool. I don't even think he can open the door by himself. The question is, who led him outside? How did he get into the pool? Where is the CCTV footage? All these things should be looked into now. Exactly. How can Davido build that big mansion without putting CCTV camera? Eh? If to see CCTV camera there for don't solve all these things, we for don't know whether that person carry this boy go that pool or nine waka by himself to that pool. And this one said, so sad, those staff must suffer. What on earth were they employed for, if not for the well-being of the child? What carelessness. I hope the autopsy is true. God comfort the family. Now so, like, that is it. Go should just comfort Chioma, especially Chioma. I feel for that young lady. I really feel her pain. I feel her pain. Like, guys, I feel for Chioma. Go should please keep Chioma strong for us because she'll be going through a whole lot. A whole lot. Why this one said they should remain in detention, Sha? until they explain why they let him out of their sight and how he got to open the door to get out. This one said, Nigeria investigation system needs upgrading. We are not arguing if I didn't get drawn in the pool, but how did he get in there? Are there no CCTV cameras to monitor how everything occur? We need to know if no one saw him walking down the pool that fateful day 
go be with incurator little boy keep resting baby as in if i his death is so painful why another one said so nobody wants to show us the cctv camera we need to know that boy was loved by a lot of us that is it if fanny was so loved like if fanny has grown in our faces and we really love him that is why his death is affecting everybody that is why his death really shock a whole lot of people why another one said, how did he get to the pool area? That is just what everyone is asking. Who opened that strong giant door that they said lead to the pool side? Oh God, I have many questions. Like a lot of people has a lot of questions to ask. How did little Ifani that his hand is not strong open that big door that led to the pool? Why another one said, wait, we all watch this boy grow in three years and just like that, or oh more, oh God, like it is painful. The struggle and pain he felt, so sorry, if fine. Now who opened the door where the boy go enter pool? They should check CCTV camera now. It is sad. See this news, innocent boy, like you guys, it is really, really sad. A lot of people, including me, keep asking, how did Ifani open the big gates that lead to the swimming pool? How did he open it? How did he open it? Why David Ono gets camera for his house? Why? If the saying gets camera for his house, all these things for don't solve. We for don't know what really happened to this little boy. We for don't know. We for don't know. It is really painful. We can't see if I anymore. God, please protect and guide Chioma. Protect and guide everything that concerns Chioma. She really needs you now. You are the only one that can comfort and console Chioma in this darkest moment of her life. God, please protect her for us. Protect our baby girl for us. God, please. So, you guys, that is the latest. I say make a phone update on her as they go. All what we know about this Ifani's um, death, it is really, really painful. I still remain your girl on NS Space TV. Please subscribe for more videos, for more updates. Thank you and remain blessed.